Weil mein Controller. Was denn? Da, da ist die Sprit aus. Dachte Sprit. It's out of gas. Shall we go and fill it up? Do we need a gas can or can we do it like that? We need a gas can. Here we have the oil and the gas. We can use this can here. Where do we fill it up? Here. Okay, good to go. I'm going to BMW to buy myself a motorbike. One motorbike I can do everything with, so it'll have to be the GS. That's why I've had my GS for 20 years, and I intend to keep it. Okay, we'll put yours to the left. It doesn't matter if I want to go fast or slow, or if I'm in a good mood or a bad mood. I just feel great riding it. It's just perfect. Start the engine, please. 60 kilometers per hour. Now 100, then step on the gas. I was able to actually experience this absolute highlight when I was allowed to ride myself for the first time. The lightness really hit me. It's indescribable. You set off and immediately you're hungry for more. You haven't even covered a single kilometer and you want more, more, more. <laughs> In BMW's CAD, there are those golf bags, so that every convertible has enough space for golf bags. Not so many golfers ride a sidecar bike, but a crate of beer fits in here perfectly. <laughs> My personal bike is this 800 GS. It's still the old two-valve model. As we say, an old flame never dies. This holder was actually built for use in the winter, but if you feel like it in the summer, Even when I was a little boy, I always admired the GS Paris to car in the shop windows. Now I'm allowed to work with it. That is fantastic. Previously, we had the possibility of switching off the ABS and the anti-slip regulation, and to adjust the spring basis as well as the shock absorption. But there were always four actions involved in that. You constantly had to configure when switching from road to off-road. Now there is this so-called mode button used to switch from enduro to road, for example. And then all these parameters are reset in one go. Yes, that means normal roads, relaxed riding on country roads, easy riding and such things, plus luggage, full throttle on the motorway, the aspect of off-road. 
And yes, the previous model was very good at that, but I really wanted to take it one step further and extend this large spectrum. And I think with this electronic chassis and the riding modes, I managed to do that. For one thing, I'm able to now explore a route here. I take a ride and want to use a soft mode, want to absorb the pebbles, and then I see a passage and say to myself, maybe I can jump this water ditch. Then I reset with the touch of a button and can do a neat jump without having to worry about spinning. I think that more people will actually go off-road to try this. Initially, they will be hesitant, and when they experience it, they'll want to go back again and again. This is relatively wide. At the end of the day, we shouldn't be too wide so that the thing falls out of the vehicle, so to speak. We don't want that. It has to look integrated. Roughly about six millimeters out, and then pull it outwards again up there. I personally really like that, as this will enhance how the shadow falls here. Before the GS, we even had the opportunity to create a so-called visionary model, totally free of any limitations. Wheelbase was there, of course, Boxer as well, and the rest was about having crazy ideas. So in 2007, we'd created such a model, and that was cool. Now the adjustments, forward. Okay, that fits. Great. Look, here comes the designer again. Now forward, quite far forward. Now the little gearbox, little gearbox, nicely lubricated. Take your time, Ralph. Yes, not a problem. It's only half past nine. All the way to the front, guys, yes. I'd gone to see my brother-in-law in Heilbronn in the Holy Land to pick something up. That's when I spotted the bike. I asked him what he was doing with the machine, and he said, just take it. That's how I got a GS. In 1983, I could not afford buying one. A beautiful engine. It's a real monolith, isn't it? Slim toward the front, and then you see this huge thing, and you think you'll get caught in every corner, but that's not the case. What is really different is that we have moved the mass away from the center towards the front. It pushes forward. It really wants to go for it and go full throttle. That was really important to us, so that even from far away, everyone can see it coming and realize, hey, that's the new one. It was in very bad shape and looked awful, covered in rust. First, we had to overhaul the carburetor just to a minimum level. And then I rode this thing that almost fell apart all the way to Venice, without any problems. I so fell in love with that machine. Absolutely great. I think it's a classic. So, uh, you want a beer? When it came to the headlights, we had the opportunity to realize full LED headlights with integrated daytime lights that go around this U-shaped element containing the lens package. For the high beam and the low beam, there is another X element. The LEDs sit on and it spreads out like that. Looks really cool. One of the main challenges we've implemented into the Boxer engine is the switch from air oil cooling to water air cooling. This particularly has to do with the fact that we wanted to further improve the thermal health of the engine and we tried to realize a more compact build of the whole thing. The engine is even more emotional, more enthusiastic, and everything has a certain lightness to it, which represents an enhancement in comparison to the current version.
Now I don't remember where this is from. No, that was Kutsting. That's the wrong one. That could be it. Ah, there it is. So that was 1979 with BMW in Weitra at the European Championship race. I came second. It was a lot of work and absolutely exhausting, but also really good fun. But I had the advantage of doing the technology as well. That was the original base model, yeah. I left six years ago now, and time doesn't stand still. I know my ex-colleagues are good people and know how to build motorbikes. So, I'm really looking forward to finding out what this bike can do. Laszlo! Hey Rafi, great to see you! make a great vehicle even better, you need a good team. With people who understand what this is all about. With people who put their lifeblood into this and who actually live it. We got a fantastic team together that managed to take this vehicle all the way to another level.